I don't often do this, so I'll do this today. I have a movie suggestion. A movie called Wish You Were Here. A 1987 movie. And it focuses on this teenage girl throughout the overwhelming majority of the movie. And from beginning to the very end, she is the most unlikable character in the entire movie. Now, I guess just because she's the focus of the movie, I'm assuming they want you to sympathize with her in some way because uh, her character in the story, you find out that she loses her mother and it's just her and her little sister being taken care of by her father who is a war veteran of the second world war and uh, the movie is set in an english seaside town and i have to say i really love this movie i mean the story was actually good even though the character was hateable uh, throughout the entire thing but one of my favorite things about this movie was the costuming and the set like it just really made you believe it was set in the time that it was supposed to be set in based on the costumes and setting so bravo to that but yeah so because her mother passed away i guess we were supposed to sympathize with her but throughout the movie they show that even when she was a child she was an asshole <laughs> like when her father comes back from the war and they're greeting him you know she has a gas mask on and she's just asking immediately did he bring back gifts like not caring at all about her father surviving a war you know and it's her mother who has to take the mask off of her and tell her to you know greet her father so she's an asshole while her mother was alive and then after the fact you see you know, years later when she's about, I guess in the movie, 16 years old. Like she's going around like saying like degenerate shit. <laughs> like she says up your bum throughout the entire movie. She's insulting everybody. Um, her uncle gives her a job at a bus company. She screws that up. And, um, and at the beginning of the movie, she's given an opportunity to become a hairdresser because her father after the war becomes a barber. She screws that opportunity up because she's an asshole to this woman who she's testing on, you know, to get a hair job. And the reason why she screws up the woman's hair is because uh, one of the male barbers, she was flirting with him and she thought he was flirting back, but she was he was actually flirting with the woman who he was who she was testing on to get her hair license, I guess. And so she basically screwed up her hair because <laughs> she she wasn't she was the one that was being flirted with, not her. You know, and then the the boys that she even date throughout the movie, like none of them are uh, hateable or abusive towards her. There's one dude that she works uh, that she works with at the bus company that's a little full of himself, but you know, like nothing that makes made him hateable. But yeah, she was an an asshole, you know, like even to both boys. And his, and then um, later on, she hooks up with her father's friend, who's some like older dude that's pursuing her. And like, soon as he meets her in the house when her father's away, he like immediately starts like fingering her. <laughs> and then, <laughs> she's like, "I hope your finger stinks." Like this movie is crazy um yes 1987 <laughs> man I've, I've found so many like 80s movies that i've never seen before some wild shit that's happening in these movies but again it is still a good movie even though the character is hateable but i just find it funny that you're supposed to sympathize with her because after she has relationship with her her father's friend uh that her father obviously finds out about she goes in to move in with him uh, the older dude knocks her up and 
after she gets knocked up there there's even a scene where i don't know if it was her aunt or her or former babysitter or whatever but she has a conversation basically telling her how good her father is because like she makes she makes it a point to like embarrass her father she even stood up in one scene in the restaurant and said a bunch of a degenerate shit at her waitressing job <laughs> you know insulting the customers <laughs> and basically the woman tells her like most fathers wouldn't have put up with her probably would have sent her away but again like even at the very end where she shows up with the baby that she had like she cuts through a game that's that's being played and just to draw attention to herself and continue to be an asshole and i guess you're supposed to root for her with the, uh, due to the fact that ultimately she didn't choose to kill the child <laughs> But again, she's just an asshole the entire time. Like her little sister, for example. She's always talking about how her little sister is born. Her little sister wants to be in the military. And she's not portrayed as an annoying little sister. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't know. They were trying to say somehow you supposed to sympathize with the character that this movie is focused on, but throughout the entire thing she was like the most unlikable one but it was just it was entertaining to see because of how ridiculous she was and you know again the movie was told very well and uh, after watching the movie i looked up some stuff on it on youtube and i found out that they recently had a 30 year anniversary where i think the director and some other people that were in the movie and the lead actress herself uh, did a Q and A, um, and they did a Q and A at a at a theater where the movie was uh, filmed. You know, and she's like, I think in her early fifties now. She, you know, she looks pretty uh, good, you know, for her age. But yeah, you know, you you had the people in the audience who were clearly sort of rooting on her character. I'm like, she's an absolute asshole. The character nothing likable about her but I, I guess especially nowadays you know female assholes are expected now they're they're the strong leads in movies but again i'm shouldn't know the main character but she played that character very well so bravo to her i mean especially if that's not actually her personality but bravo to her she did a great job and I saw this movie for free on 2B TV and I'll link I'll link to that movie in the pinned comment section below but yes I suggest you to watch this movie for if if for nothing else just for the costuming and setting and all of the crazy events that happens throughout the movie and of course uh, side note yes the character is like 16 years old and she, the actress was probably 16 years old when she was shooting this movie but you have to remember in europe you know in the entire country it's i mean on that entire continent i should say it's um it's legal to bang kids teenage kids so it's, it's no big deal to them then and no big deal to them now but yeah you will enjoy the movie if you just like to see uh, a character go through a series of crazy events in a spectacular looking film that still holds up today 